everybody. Uh, I'm, I apologize for not doing this sooner, uh, before the bath and the nail trimming videos, but I uh, did want to get it out there. This is uh, going to be about handling and uh, puppy massage. I've been, hello Wesley. <laughs> I've been doing it for about, oh, I don't know, two minutes uh, on Nolly right now, and she's, you can see she's really chilling out. She's very chill. So, first thing we do is take her collar off. So we get it out of the way. And bye bye to the collar. And then it's just, you know, give her a good massage. Nice, good neck scratches. I also have this because she likes to do love nibbles. So I give her that so she doesn't nibble on me. Because <laughs> sometimes it hurts. But, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty easy when you think about it. It's just, it's just a massage. Give her a good rub down. Lots of scratches on their neck and behind their ears. And go down her back. Just rubbing and petting. And then, I'll get it to flip over. Can you flippy flip, please? Get her on her back. Oh, that's hard to see. Sorry. And belly rubs. Here, you want your nibbler? I'm going to have your nibbler. Uh, belly rubs and belly scratches. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And then while we're doing this and they're nice and calm, I just want to pick up her back feet and give them rubs and touch them and, you know, touch each one of her toes. And this is where the hand wing comes in. Touch all of her toes. And you see, she doesn't she didn't care. She's worried about her nibbler. No, you don't need to chew on your collar. Here, have that. Get her legs. Touch each one of her toes. So maybe, you know, hold it for a little longer. The, the, when you first start, they may not like it at all. But then as they start realizing that it's a nice, cozy, comfy time, then you can start holding their toes for a little longer. And that helps with nail clipping later on. And also, I don't have them in here with me right now. I forgot. But I do practice runs. Like if I had the clippers in my hands, I'd uh, when I'm rubbing her feet, I'll go like this just near her toes with the clippers. That's my ring. Ow. Can you? Okay. And, uh, and that gets her used to the clippers being near her toes. Yeah. Yeah. You got a nice belly rub. Get your nibbler. Oh, there goes that leg. Oh, there goes that leg. And switch it up. You know, I, I was doing her foot a minute ago and then I quit. Doing one other belly rub. Now I'm going to do this foot. Oh goodness, she likes to gnaw on my ring. Love nibbles on my ring. Oh goodness. Then look in her face and rub her face. Oh, oh. oh goodness. I wish you guys could see what I see. Oh goodness. And look in her ears. I see him this year. Feel around in there with your finger. Get her used to it. Lift up her lips and look at her teeth. Yeah. Look at the bottom ones. Hold her mouth open. And then just do like this. It's really slow. Nice rubs. And this is good too when your dog is red is like has the zoomies. Your puppy has the zoomies. Uh, if you can get them into one place for a second. And then just start going to town. No, give me this. Yep. Thank you. Like that. And if you can get them into one place for a second, this will usually alleviate... Okay, how about we put this somewhere else? Alleviate the zoomies. And, uh, just gets them nice and calm. She's, she's, uh, she's, I don't know where she's going. Coming back? You gonna sit? Yeah, nice and calm, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that's what we do. We do this every day. Every day. And touch her feet. Oh goodness. And touch her tail. That's important. Especially if you have kids. Because, uh, you know, you can't always control them. You can try to teach them not to uh, pull tails, but...
may happen, especially with little ones. Touch your tail. Wiggle it. Yeah. Flip her ears in and out. Give her a good rub down. And make sure you touch all the parts that you're going to have to deal with on a regular basis. Like uh, ears and mouth and and uh, <laughs> snot on your belly. Uh, toes and tail. And Come here. Come here, little fatty. Good belly scratches, yeah. And uh, that's just uh, how we do it. That's how you get your puppy used to being touched all over. And how you get, and it's good too because like, I can check, like right now there's a dark spot on her belly. And is it dirt? Is it a flea? Is it a tick? What is that? It's just dirt. No. And do like that. And it's nice and soft and soothing. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.